Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on, that way, you won't miss a single upload. It would be an understatement to say that the Porsche Taycan has been a raging success. In just two years, this felt four-door electric sports sedan has already begun to outsell the vaunted Porsche 911, the iconic heart and soul of the brand. It has also proven wildly successful even when compared to Tesla, the established EV juggernaut. Through the first three quarters of 2021, Taycan sales far outstripped those of the Model S and Model X combined. Porsche is keeping up the pressure by introducing the new for 2022 Taycan GTS, a stunning driver-focused variant that neatly slots into a price and performance gap in the Taycan lineup. Until now, the step up from the dual-motor all-wheel drive Taycan 4S to the turbo has been a humongous one. The price gap is nearly $42,000 after you equip the 4S with the 83.7 kWh performance battery plus option that's standard on the turbo, but your big battery 4S will still give up 108 horsepower and 147 pound-feet of torque to the turbo's 670 horsepower and 626 pound-feet of maximum output. This leaves a lot of white space for the Taycan GTS, which slots in about midway between the two and price, while delivering a stout 590 horsepower and a turbo matching 626 pound-feet. Range figures are not yet available, but Porsche hinted that the GTS could better the 227-mile range of the 2021 4S. The blacked-out theme continues inside, where you'll find a GTS interior dominated by black Racetex, Porsche's Fosweight material. It's the primary treatment on the standard 18-way adaptive sport seats, the headliner, roof pillars, and sun visors. It covers the horizontal design axis below the dash top and the central spine that divides the cockpit. It's also the grippy wrapping material on the multifunction GT Sport steering wheel, which is equipped with a prominent driving mode dial because the Sport Chrono package comes standard on the GTS. The cabin also features red stitching throughout, and dark finish brushed aluminum trim unless you opt for matte black carbon fiber, as in our car. As an option, there's a panoramic sunroof with a new variable light control system, an embedded array of nine massive car-spanning LCD segments that can be manipulated using a touchscreen interface. GTS takes it to another level, with an intentionally more driver-focused setup that delivers the kind of fierce capability that's implied by its no-nonsense looks. The same adaptive air suspension and Porsche Active Suspension Management PASM, systems are present, but they've been thoroughly recalibrated with the aim of creating a more neutral cornering attitude and better turn-in response. The tweaks extend to the standard torque vectoring plus and power steering plus systems, as well as the optional rear steer system and PDCC adaptive anti-roll bars. The engineering team has absolutely succeeded as the front end feels far more responsive when pushed hard in tight bends. The buildup of steering effort in all types of corners is especially authentic because the electric power steering system utilizes a unique feedback loop that considers the road forces pushing in from the tie rod ends and tweaks the level of assist according to the GTS playbook. The 2022 Porsche Taken GTS does not have as much ultimate horsepower or straight-line punch as the turbo and turbo bus, but it's no slouch, and you can absolutely bring it out with no turns twisting. It starts at $132,750, but as with any Porsche, you can inflate that quite a bit with options.